and come by both chapter for, for the for the convention. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So woman is a help meet. A woman or a wife is an help meet. That is the first assignment that God gave to women to be a help meet to their husband. To be to be a help meet, a, a help meet, what I understand by that word is to be an assistant or to be a supporter to your own husband. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. The Bible, God Himself knows. God knows that a man cannot do it all alone. So he made a woman to be by the side of the, of the man. After he has made all beasts, all animals, he now found out that a man was left alone. And he said, it is not good. Praise Master Jesus. Now I am going to make him and help me. And he made a woman. Praise Master Jesus. A woman is supposed to be a supporter. A woman or a wife is supposed to be an assistant to her husband. A woman is supposed to be a helper, someone that, that helps, someone that is always there, someone that is capable to help to bear the burden. Praise Master Jesus. Because God himself knows that the work is going to be too much for that man, so he made him a, a woman. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. If we look at uh, the, the Bible, after God has made a woman, which is uh, Eve, praise Master Jesus, God made Adam and he made Eve. That woman that is Eve, if we, look, if we reach further, this is the reason I said before that a woman is supposed to, a woman is a supporter, is an assistant, a woman is supposed to be there to help her husband, to bear the body, to carry out the assignment that God has given to him. Praise Master Jesus. So you will look to our world today, you will see some women that are not helping. Even though it's God that made Eve for, 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 for Adam, look at what Eve did. If you, I'm not going to read that, we are not going to go into that. If you look at what Eve did in the book of the same Genesis chapter 3, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. In Genesis chapter 3, if you read for that, you will see what Eve did to Adam. In our world today, we see how women like that. There are women who are not supposed to, there are women that, are cannot, that doesn't assist their husbands. There are women that even lead their husband to error, lead their husband to make mistakes. Or why some other women, because of the loss of the world, because of the things of the world, they, 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 they are confused, forgetting the glory that God has given to, to them. God gave woman, made a woman as a helpmate to be a supporter, not to be the head of the house, rather to be a head to the man. So when, when the man is speaking, the woman will obey what the, 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 the man is saying in the Lord, in the Christ, because not in the world. Praise Master Jesus. Every woman is supposed to be a woman of God. According to God's pattern, according to the, to, to the way, according to God's thinkness, what God thinks, why he made the woman, is supposed to be there for the woman to be there to help carry out the assignment. In our world today, you see some women that deviate from the ways of God, they also took their husbands and with them. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. A help means supposed to help to build, supposed to join the man to build, not to scatter. Praise the Lord. We are supposed, as women, we, our glory is to help when we see that the man is missing it, one way or the other. We are supposed to be there to help the man correct. Sometimes we do women who correct men. When you know that your husband is going wrong, is going, is doing, is, is going wrong, or is going out of the trap, you as a woman, your own duty is to call your husband and say, "Hey, oh God, please, this is not what the Word of God says." Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Woman is supposed to be obedient to her husband. A woman. Like I said, or a wife, supposed to be an obedient to her husband. If we look at look at the life of Abraham and Sarah, where God told Abraham to leave his father's house, 
to leave and go to the land where he did not know where he's going to. Abraham didn't know where he was going to. God only told him, carry your load, go and leave your father country. Go to the place where I will show you. There I will make you a blessing. You will become great and you will be a blessing to the world, to, to, to many. Praise Master Jesus. Abraham, did, Sarah did not doubt one day. That Sarah carried her load and simply followed her husband, not knowing where they are going. Praise Master Jesus. That is the duty of a woman. Some of us today, some women today, if your husband, if her husband says us, because I'm included, let me add myself to it. If her husband said us, we are going to go, we have to relocate or we are going to somewhere, they will tell the man, you better go first to me and not go fit to. Go first. Go and till the land. Go and prepare the place. Go and spy. Go and look everywhere. Make it comfortable before I will come. It is not supposed to be so. That is not how God made it. If we look, even the Bible tells us in the book of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 6. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters we are, as long as he do well, and are not afraid of any amazement. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says we are daughters of Sarah. If truly we are the daughters of Sarah, we are to know what Sarah did. Sarah obeyed her husband to the call. When the man told, told, told her, we are packing out, we are leaving, God said we should go. He, she obeyed and simply followed her husband, not knowing where they were going to. Praise Master Jesus. So, my, my, to, to my own little understanding, to this uh, very Bible verse, women are to obey. When your husband tells you, let's go, especially, especially when you have to do the work of God, women are to obey. We are not supposed to be the, the kind of women that disobey our husbands when it comes to do the things of God. When, you, when God called your own husband, or when you are serving, not, let's leave pastors aside, let, let's leave men of God aside. As a Christian, as a believer, as one who is born again, when you are doing your things, your wife is supposed to be with you while you are doing those things. Whenever you see your own husband going amiss, doing what he's not supposed to do, you are the one to call your husband silently, not doing it in the public, not disgracing the man, not shouting to the world to know. Maybe I'm not what Papa Joy they do. Papa Joy, see what they do. No. Call your husband. A white woman, call your husband silently, secretly. Talk to your husband. He will understand what you're talking about. But when you come with that spirit of anger, you want to spoil everywhere. No. Even though he claims to be right and you know he's wrong, your own is to obey and stand by the woman. Let your man know. Okay? No. It is not this way. When you come that way, the man will understand. Even though he is doubting uh, what, what my woman is saying, even if you have to go out there to seek advice, at the end of the day, the woman will come, the, the man will come back to you and say, Danny, what you said was true. Now, uh, now I understand. Let's do it this way. Praise Master Jesus. And we women as well, we are not supposed to take our husband away from where we know our source is coming from, especially the house of God. As a woman, you are not supposed to say, uh, because of uh, the pastor wife did something to me, or Sister Jane stepped on me, she didn't tell me sorry. Maybe Sister Jane didn't even know, or she knows she purposely do it. Because of that, you want to tell your husband, pack your load, we are leaving this church today. No. Women of God, no, it's not supposed to be. As a woman, we are to support our husbands. We are to be where our husbands want us to be. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. There is something I saw today, I can say today, I saw something today that really, really I was kind of, I was very, very angry at the same time giving thanks to God for me going through that message. You know, what lost can do in the world. Lost, destroy. As a woman, you are not supposed to be the one that lost after material. after material things, after worldly things. No. We are not supposed to be so. You have a husband who is who is serving God gently. Those things are not the way it's supposed to be. 
though pastor is not promoting you yet, though you don't have, you don't, you don't, you don't have, you are not a leader in any department yet. Why not keeping quiet and serve God with meekness? When it gets to your turn, God will promote you. Even though the man of God refused to promote you, in his sleep, God will speak to him. Say, this person is still of disrespect. Why not give it to him? With understanding. Praise Master Jesus. I come across that message. I was, I was crying actually. I was crying. What a world are we living in? This is a man. Your husband is okay. First of all, you are with your husband. Sweetheart, it's okay now. No problem. Let me manage it. As far as soon as you see money, <laughs> what money can cost? Money that destroy your money to destroy it. women. Make una take and check, check. money they destroy. Yes. Many money, this cash, mm -hmm. they destroy. Yes. You were once good, loyal. Everything is okay, my darling, my husband. Okay, we will do it like this. We will serve God. We will do it this way. We will just serve God with all our heart. No problem, pastor is not promoting us. No problem, we will do it. As soon as we see money, oh, go, your eye enter. Mm -hmm. why, why? Mm -hmm. At the end of it, hi. God bless you, woman of God. <laughs> God bless you, woman. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. Master Jesus. Hallelujah. As I was saying, women are to obey their husband. Women are, are to stand by their husband's impute. When you see that things are not okay with your husband, Stand by the woman, stand by the man, sorry, stand by your husband and guilt. That is why I love that book, the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, from verse 10 to the end. I love it. If you really want to be a woman, the one that God has called, the one that God has made and helped me, the one that God has made as a helper to her husband, read that book. Mm. Women, read that book. You will see what a woman can do. A woman that is really a woman, a woman that is that, that that God has made to become a wife. All the duty of the woman are there. Praise Master Jesus. In our world today, once a, a, a man is receiving a thousand two, how strengthened is seven hundred? How much is like five hundred? Inside of that five hundred, you still want to buy one, one shot or how they call it uh, in my head. Praise Master Jesus. Are you destroying all your building? You did not destroy it. Praise Master Jesus. That is when you will see Sister Jen, Sister Jen, one man, one gun, and you are asking how much Sister Jen take by that shot, take and go buy that thing. You know. ah, how much it costs? And when you find out it's 50 euros, and you're having 150 for, to eat for the whole month, you take 50 euros to go and buy your more. You are not building with the man. You are only, you are only there to destroy it. Women, please, let's make our way and let's not lose the glory that God has given to us as. As in her meet. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you see the character of a woman that is building with her husband, you will always know. Because in that same book of, of, of Proverbs, chapter 31, the Bible said it. When people see the husband in, 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 in the junction, in the road, or wherever, people respect her husband. Why? Because he has a good wife at home. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The, the character of the woman that help is what I just of as help me is what I just mentioned. Help number one, you have to help the man to build. If it's an arrogant man, it's your duty to let the man talk to the man. So you, what you're doing, this cafe is not good. If passing it, please come with this church. That is your duty. Number three, help your husband to save. Mm. If you know that the income is not that much, help to save. Help to build. Praise Master Jesus. If you know that your husband is the type that go out there and misbehave, or more you two will not have your respect. Help the man to build and help him to stand as a man that God has made him to be as the head of the house. Praise the Lord. And the kind of men like that women should also obey. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry to say, I'm not against it. There are some men that you are not supposed to obey as a woman. The man that will tell you. May we go club this night and be what do you think? Mm -hmm. Don't go, please. Mm -hmm. Tell your husband, sweetie, that money when you want to go buy that or the money we want to enter, we will use and buy something we will eat for house. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. In that way, you're not helping the man. Woman that is always party, 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 party. Every today, every Sunday is party. When you are supposed to be in church, you are in party. Be careful. Help your man not to do that always. Praise Master Jesus. What are the characters of men, of women that, are, that doesn't do 
their husbands. If you look at the book of Praise Master Jesus, number one I've mentioned here is Job wife. Mm -hmm. eh? That character strong. Job chapter 2, verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Does thou still retain thy integrity? Cause God to die. Praise the Lord. That is not the woman that is beating with the man. You see, the man is suffering. Inside, on top of that suffering, the man is still believing God, still trusting God. Why don't you just do your part and tell him things will be fine? He said, he said, oh, yeah. <laughs> now here you see the Papa Kelechi. You see there here. Yeah? You see they say you be child of God. Oh, God will do it, God will do it. When your mate don't go far. You know if you go carry drug, when your mate they carry you don't make money. Praise the Lord. Uh, when the man is going through stress, it's when you want to add your fire, want to add your your let me not use the word I supposed to use. That's the word I wanted to use. It's when you want to add your fire to make the man go mad more. No. Women know that is not a good character as a helpmate. Praise Master Jesus. Another kind of woman we find here in the Bible, the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. We are only reading 8 to 8 to 10. Praise the Lord. Acts 5, verse 8 to 10. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether you sold the lamb for so much. And she said, Yea, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, How is it that ye have agreed together to thank the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which shall bury thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then fell she down straightway at his feet, and yielded up the ghost. And the young men came in, and found her dead, and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, the man they were supposed to give in the church. It still happened in our world today. They were supposed to give in the church. The church is in need, so everybody is selling what they have, bringing their little, little income. This man, the him and his wife went to sell the land, and they like they keep some part of the money. Why not just bring it out? Pastor, sorry, sir, this is how, how much we sell this land. Can we keep, at least we need some part of it, we will give the rest. It is better that way. The man lied. And the woman came in support, joining her husband to life. Both of them died. Hallelujah. It's not a good character. That woman is not a helpmate. She's not a helper. She's not, she's not an assistant. She's not a supporter. She only helped to destroy. Praise the Lord. In our world, there are women like that. We are not supposed to be so. We don't have to give that chance. Sorry, ma'am. Do I still have time? Yes. See what the, how many minutes do I have? Ten minutes more. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. So this is what, what I'm trying to say is that as a woman, your husband is doing I have mentioned it before. When your own when your husband is doing something wrong, your duty is to tell that man, please don't do it. After selling the lamb, what will happen? After you have lied. After you think you have deceived the man of God, rather you were deceiving the Holy Spirit. We should be, keep, be careful of what we do. We Christians of this day, believers of this day, women especially, we should be careful of what we do. Joining our husbands to lie is a great disaster. We forgot that as we are doing it, our children are dead. They are learning. What are we teaching our children? Which foundation are we laying for them to, to follow? Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Woman is not supposed, if your husband is doing such thing, you are supposed to stand and tell your husband, please sir, no, my love, no. It's not done. You are not only deceiving the man of God, you are also deceiving yourself. And that has caused a whole lot of disaster in so many homes. You will think that marriage is not good. Things are not going well. More you get to look, look, well, look into that marriage, what is going on. Are they who they say they are, or something else is fishing? A house where there is no truth, a house where there is no peace, a house where things are not the way they were supposed to be. Husband is lying, wife is lying, husband is stealing, wife is stealing, children are copying. We are not going anywhere, women of grace, women of God. 
The call today is for us to amend our ways because a Christian or a real believer should know their boundary. There are things we don't do, there are things we are not supposed to do as real believers, especially women. Woman, the Bible says that a man is the head of the house. That's what the Bible says. Most times, the women are always at home. They are the one building the home. The man is the man is out there. Like the Bible, the Bible says, the man will suffer, he will labor, he will go and walk. Yes, the man is always out. Early morning, 5 a.m. or 6, the man has gone to take first metro. And before he will be coming back later in the evening, it's 6 o'clock in the evening. The woman is always at home, most times. There are times that the women are also working, which I know. But in this case, as a woman, as a woman who is a helpmate, please, please put your house in order. Don't destroy, don't. Don't join the group of, they say, they say, when fight is happening out there, they will say, hey, maybe your, your husband will hear from, from somewhere, somewhere, maybe somebody just called your wife, oh, that man, you're killing that man silently, you don't know. Before, the, the, I, I promise you, before his time, he will die. Because a man that doesn't have rest of mind, no, but when he will go out to walk, he will struggle all day and he's coming. That is when you are still online, you are still, you are still on phone call, you are on TikTok, you are on Facebook, you are on YouTube, you are in every platform. What are you doing? Lying. Saying what they say and what they did not say. That is where you will also see, them, see some of them, they will fight in the streets. I was so surprised. There was a day I come across somebody. She just called me. She's charged. I said, What is happening? He said, no, Wow, this is my friend. When I take him out of the campus, he said, Did you see the way this woman did fight for me? I was like, Interior. And this is someone I respect a lot. I respect her a lot. When I heard that, I was like, No. Why not? She said, No. This is not who we are. We are Christians, we are believers. And to start with, you are a husband, you are fighting in the presence of your children. Or more respect now. What are you doing? What if your children start doing the same thing to you? What will you say? You will now start casting and fighting to say, it's the devil. No! It's the seed. The seed has germinated. And it's growing in the heart of the children. Praise Pastor Jesus. Praise the Lord. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Pastor Jesus. Don't be the woman that lost after all these things. I have mentioned it before. If you are, so if your eyes is too open, you are going to enter trouble. That is when you know that people are carrying drugs to push your husband to work and because it's never enough. What you bring home is never enough for you. When you bring one euro today, you will say, ah, so that's the only one euro. Tomorrow you will try to bring two euros. You will say, ah, only two euros. You know, go push now. Like that, you're pushing the man. And the man is going. You are taking the man. And the man is going. Praise Master Jesus. I have a very the very last Bible chapter one. Proverbs chapter 31, chapter 31, 1, verse 30. Hallelujah. Favor is the city, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Hallelujah. Favor is the city, the Bible says. And beauty is vain. If you think you have been favored, you have it all, you can misbehave, you can do whatever you want with what you have, you don't have the fear of God, it's zero, you are not an helpmate. And you think if you think you're too beautiful, without you, you are the most beautiful person, the most elegant person that has ever existed, and you don't have the fear of the Lord, you are not an helpmate. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Women of grace, women of God, we should be wise and do what God has us to do. And let us not lose our glory because of things. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.